Hi guys, welcome to another CD32 video and today I'm having a quick look at the 160 game compilation for the CD32. Now, I'm going to put a download link in the description box below so please go and have a look at that if you want to get a copy. This will definitely work on the CD32, it's been modded with uh, WHD uh, load as you can see there in the, in the description load of other bits and bobs but I think it will also work on the, an Amiga CD uh, uh, and best any of the other systems like the CD TV as well but it's been specifically modded to work with the CD32 controller now I often get asked on videos like this you know where do you download and stuff now the thing is I don't know when you're going to be watching this video it might be in a few years time from when I put it up but if I which name just search the name 160 game compilation CD32 it will be hosted somewhere if not here then probably somewhere on the EAB which is the uh, uh, English Amiga boards there's always something linking here there and everywhere anyway this is uh, 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 100, uh, 160 games obviously but just having a quick flick through the menu there, nicer uh, coloured and big previews of the game, a good list of titles as you can see in there, Gloomy Breed, Master Blaster, Mortal Kombat, uh, these are the two player games so you will need uh, another controller for this, uh, I don't know anybody will play these games with me so I'll never get to play these ones sadly. <laughs> uh, oh, Micro Machines, there's a classic, there's a classic, Adventure Games, that's things like Flashback, uh, Indiana Jones, uh, Atlantis, Monkey Island 2. Awesome games there, but uh, you definitely need a mouse to use with this thing. Uh, all the AGA games, Big Red Adventure. I think we'll go and have a look at that in a quick look in a minute. Virtual Cat. I think Virtual Cat 2 is possibly one of the uh, better looking official releases before the system finished. I mean, look at that. How many releases are in there? Blues Brothers, Brutal Cat, Commando. A good, good selection of titles. Final Fight, even. I think the Amiga version is pretty poor, though. Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, some repeated games there, but Legend of Karandia. Yeah, a good, good bloody selection. New Zealand Story. We're going to load that in a sec because it's the best game ever. <laughs> uh, right, all games S. Only quickly going through. Super Skid Marks, Farm and Silly. Oh, it's all the modded versions of that. Pretty good, pretty good. Fighting games. Not a big fan of them, so I don't really play them. I wouldn't say Batman Returns was a fighting game. Weird. Miscellaneous Arcade. Uh, not bad, not bad. Platform Linear. Not big things. Oh, yeah, Rainbow Island is probably one of the better games for the system. Hello, hello, oh my god. Flashback again. I don't know why they keep repeating things, but that's how it goes. Lots of races. The Amiga was an awesome game, an uh, awesome machine for racing games, so. Good selection in there, good selection. Uh, sports. FIFA. Um, <laughs> the manager, I don't know what that is. Shooter. What's in the shooter selection? 1943, the Capcom title. Good choices, good choices. Anyway, let's just, just show you a loading one. Oops, I went a bit too far there. Come on. <laughs> there is it. Uh, New Zealand story, let's select one. Red button. Come on. Loading time's a bit slow, but... Go cool, on. You can turn off the images by holding a key press, uh, which speeds up the loading time a bit. Which you know you, you'll do that if you're using it full time, but for showing it off, there's no point. All right, there you go. Let's go down here. Cool, mum. Come on. You know, you basically just get sub menus and use a button to go back a screen. I'm not doing that. It takes ages to load. Cool, mum. That's why you need because you see it's pausing there because it needs that it needs to load the menu and then you can go to the next game a bit slow but again turn off the images load fine there we go ready shoot jump is blue start quick to start let's go 
this is my all time favourite game on any system ever. I always love playing the ports and things, but I'll have a quick look at the Amiga. This is what started my love for it. Here we go. Come on. Fire to play. Do 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 do. Brilliant poster by Bob Wakelin. I've got it signed on the uh, bedroom wall. Wheel, but that does sound weird, and it's a nice glass frame. I've had it for years. Do 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 do. I'm so addicted to this. I first played it on an Amiga 500 uh, back in the day. Found a friend's house. It would have been about 1986. My God. I'd only been about six or seven when I first played it. Oh, there it is, the warp. Always oh, remember the warp. Do, 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 do. <laughs> One of the things I really loved about this as a kid was just the fact that, you know, you could do so much in it, and it was like an early version of uh, exploration which I'd never, because before this I'd been playing on a spectrum so you can imagine the the oomph from switching from one something like that to something like this but sadly I didn't get an Amiga until about oh, 89 maybe I'm just cheating now <laughs> And of course, this is the. Oh my god, I can't see. Oh, it got me. <laughs> anyway, so that was just showing it off, just to say it is available. It's an awesome little uh, uh, collection, probably the one of the first things you should buy. Oh no, bloody hell! Come on, I could do with a balloon guy. Yes. There we go. Now we can do this boss easy. Come on, run away, run away. We left a bit right bit and I'm dead again. <laughs> anyway, as always, guys, uh, keep your eye on the channel and thanks for watching. I will uh, post another video soon.